I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. What's up, YouTube? Zero here. And today I have the boss battle against the Pensive Guardian in Trial 2 in Hogwarts Legacy. In this video, I'm going to show both the pre-battle and the battle against the Pensive Guardian because the pre-battle against the minions, the Pensive Sentries, and the like has no save in between defeating these minions and the Pensive Guardian. So I'm showing this as well. Now... This one is a little tricky. Half of the Guardians are going to be visible, and half of them are going to be invisible that you're going to have to make visible by going through the archway in the middle of the arena. However, once you go through the archway, the other half that you used to see now becomes <laughs> invisible. So you're going back and forth between the archway to make the pensive sentries and the pensive protectors visible. Now, what I did was I attacked all of the pensive sentries and guardians as much as I could anyway on the one side, and then I tried to go towards the other. Now, of course, when they're invisible, you're not going to be able to hit them with anything, so you're going to have to continually go back and forth between the archway to take out the protectors and sentries now what i do recommend is trying to take out all of them at once on one side of the archway and then going towards the other trying to eliminate as many invisible enemies as possible because it does make it harder again there is no save in between the minions and the pensive guardian so i would recommend saving your ancient magic as much as possible and if you are at a lack of your items, I would recommend saving those as well, just because the Guardian can be pretty tough. But the Guardian battle, just like in Trial 1, is pretty much the same. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of a video I'm going to do, where I'm going to tell you about my build that I absolutely love. So I love combining the Maxima Potion plus the Focus Potion. This is going to allow your spells to do more damage and it's going to allow the cooldowns of your spells to be insanely quick. So you're going to have your moves as much as possible and they're going to be dealing more damage. I also love combining Crucio with Confringo. That combination is absolutely epic, especially with their upgrades because you can dole out curse among the arena as much as possible and then your confringo can deal damage to those cursed targets and deal more damage on top of that the upgrade i have for all of my equipment actually is that i deal more damage to cursed targets so confringo is going to be dealing even more damage to cursed targets just bleeding through the enemy's health so the enemy is going to be on fire from Confringo, is going to be cursed from Crucio. So it's going to take more damage from that. And on top of that, with the enhanced equipment that I have, the enemy is going to be taking even more damage. So something to note is that using Crucio will stop the enemy in his tracks. But there goes the Pens of Guardian. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. For more Hogwarts Legacy content. Till next time, peace.